Hello friends, welcome to Selenium Point. My name is Herschel and I am going to teach you Selenium from scratch. So let's start with today's tutorial which is first Selenium script. Earlier we have seen basic prerequisites like introduction, environment setup, Selenium script to all browser, setting up Firefox, locators. Now we will start with the first Selenium script. Before to start let me explain you the test website. I have developed the test website for you for practicing the selenium script this is a test website anyone can access it like go go to my website seleniumpoint.com and click on test website or this would be the url for test website you can register a new user here or i have provided one test user test at selenium point and password is test at one two three once you log into this website you can able to see all basic components web components like uh, it's a basic dummy e-commerce website where i have developed the pop-up frames new tab alerts so the table data drag and drop functionality i recommend you to go through this website uh, you will find pretty much interesting stuff here okay let's start with the first script This is theory tutorial, theory part. Now, in the first script, we are going to register a new user with our test website. So let's start uh, practically. Open Eclipse. Create a new class. Let register new user. the very first thing is we have to open the browser so let's open a firefox before that set system property for firefox system.set property which we have already seen in last tutorial keys web driver dot gecko dot driver as it's selenium 3.0 we need gecko driver for firefox and the value is a path so I have already drivers downloaded in my place path of that gecko driver and the exact name of driver gecko driver with extension load exe now we can open browser driver driver is equal to new firefox driver input a package now open a url driver dot get what is our test website this is a test website selenium.com slash test website dot php it will open our test website Let's run this code first just to check whether it is working fine. Yes, it's it has launched the Firefox and it is open, the website is opening and it's open. Okay, now we have to fill this form. Close this instance because Selenium opening a new instance every time. Start a fire path, fire bug, and inspect this web elements. This is a text box, this is a select box, this is a check box, and this is a button. So inspect the text box first. Once you inspect this text box, you can see here input ID is equal to name. So <coughs> ID class name, these are the unique properties. Uh, I will recommend you to use ID if uh, any web element has id because id is faster than any other locator so it, make sure id is a unique so here id is a unique id is a name so copy it we have to insert a text in a in this text box in selenium how to send a key this is a code driver dot find element by id id was a unique property so give the id so this will find that 
uh, unique text box now we have to send the keys so send keys is one method use that send keys into bracket in double quote send the keys so so similar same thing with the mobile test and password because all those are the text box but the ids are different for mobile id is a mobile copy the id use the same driver dot find element bar id dot send keys it's a mobile copy these two lines for password and email this is the email id is email just change the id email give email give unique email id for the password id is a password okay. <clears throat> now we'll come to that select box this is a select box so we have to select this any one state which is visible here so for selecting a element or selecting a value selenium provides select method select is equal to new select import a package and it has to pass one argument so argument means the id or the locator of this select box so find the locator select class this is a select class it has unique property name so this is a locator or this would be the argument so we have to pass this level dot find element by this is this was not id this was name so use the name that's it now using this reference variable you can select the element so select dot select name for three methods for selecting a value select by index select by value select by visible text so what are those indexing means just numbering 0 1 2 3 if like for one index and the one and Nicobar. and you can see you can expand this train you can see here a value and this is a visible text so all these are text means this is a visible text it has a it might be has a different values but in in this example you can see the value and visible text are similar so it is not necessary or it is not mandatory that both should be the similar it might be a different as well. let's pick any one value let's say asa select element using select by value select by value and value is asa so it will select the asa now we have to click on i am agree for the terms so inspect this you can see the unique property name terms check but we this time we have to click driver dot find element by name terms check for clicking so you provide click method same thing with button inspect this you can find id for this button driver dot find element by id pass that value dot click that's it guys now run the script save it and run it has opened a browser now it will put the value name see selected awesome and click on the button first of all welcome to the test website so that's it guys this is the first selenium script basic script now with the next tutorials i will explain all the next stuff which is pretty much complemented
complicated like the windows and all those things so thanks for watching the web uh, watching these videos keep watching the same videos i will post another videos soon thank you thanks a lot